Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. This is JT O'Sullivan. Today, Thursday, situations, kind of tight red zone, little RPO here, really unique, cool, naggy design. We're going to talk about it, break it down, see if he was actually reading the right guy, see exactly what's going on with the protection here. Really cool fake fly sweep outside zone thing with the shovel pass. I love these type of creative ways to get touchdown passes. You got to love it as a quarterback, but really cool ways to cheat the system. But then we'll see exactly who he's looking at for this read. I know Witten doing the color thought that it was a defensive end, and it might have been the defensive end, but I'm going to argue that it should be the inside linebacker. We'll talk a little bit about safety play in the red zone, but really unique, cool stuff. I'm excited. This will be a good one to learn from. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB School. All right. Well, if you're a fan of this show and you play quarterback in the league, you know that watching film in Chicago is not the greatest thing in the world with this low-level angle. We're going to fight through it right here. It's just like watching a TV broadcast. Bring it in two by two. Bring them back in to know if it's man or zone. They get the check they want. They're going to go. A little outside zone read with a shovel. Really cool design. Can't see anything from this angle watching film in Chicago. The one thing I will say is to pay attention to is Earl Thomas's landmark here for where he's playing defense. So safety right here at the back edge of the defense. I understand the idea of what this is trying to do as far as trying to get your guy coming downhill, know exactly where you're playing, but that really puts him out of place to be a factor in the run game at all. So just pay attention to that. Those guys have the latitude to do what they want on the back end, but those little details when you're in the red zone can wait and you can get away with not having to block the force defender or middle field player, not have to worry about a safety. Feels better running these type of plays. So just a rare thing you don't see that very often. Safeties play almost essentially on the back line. So right here, this is where we're going to spend the majority of our time. Bring the back in. We're going outside zone or sweep, fly sweep, left, whatever one you want to call it, jet sweep, fly sweep. And so the essence of this play, if you were just running this play normally, is you would not block the last defensive lineman with his hand on the ground right here. You're going to beat him with speed. Normally it's a wide receiver or running back coming in with motion, and you just hand it and go, and he outflanks everybody. And it's been a play that's been popular in high school and college for a long time. Right here, they're doing it from the backfield for a few different reasons. One, so everybody can see it. The other one is just to make it easier on the shovel, the timing element of it. But I'd probably like to see it if I was designing this play to come out of the motion, full speed motion to really sell it. But maybe they wanted to slow it down just for the RPO. So on TV, Witten thought that this is who you're reading, the defensive end. Normally you would, but because on this play with the shovel, a little fly sweep action outside zone. Here's the touchdown on the shovel underneath. But the really cool thing about this play is you pull a guard. So you're pulling the guard. And if you were reading the defensive end, you would probably want the guard to come up and block the mic here. So they, in essence, don't, they pull the guard to block the defensive end that you're reading. And the mic is unblocked. And again, remember the safety we talked about on the back line, essentially, he's taking himself out of the run game fits at all costs down here on the three yard line. So I would like to see if I was designing this play. I love the play design. Shovel, little fly sweep, RPO. We're going to read the uncover. I would say we'd read the linebacker because we're pulling for the defensive end. If we want to read the defensive end, then we need, if we want to read the defensive end, we need to pull for the mic. Okay, you can't have two unblocked guys there. So it looks like Trubisky is reading the defensive end. I'd argue that you'd probably be a better play if you read the mic. We'll see. Let's play it out a couple times, see exactly what he's looking at. He might be reading both, for all I know. And when you, unless you're in the quarterback room, nobody knows for sure. But just the read here, watch this, eyes, 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 as soon as they both go. I mean, but you would think that that mic would have a chance to make that play. That's why I'm thinking he's reading the mic or should read the mic because if you're pulling to block someone, you're not really reading them. Right there, a really nice job. And then there's Earl Thomas, too deep to make a play. So that's just what I'm talking about, the little details, the nuance. But this is what a great way for a quarterback to throw a touchdown pass right here, a little shovel. Always like shovels down here for two-point plays or tight red zone plays. But again, I probably, if I was designing this play, I would probably tell the guard to pull up for the mic. Let's leave the defensive end. Either way, great touchdown pass. Really love the details. Love what Chicago does. Nagy does creative ways to get guys the ball, especially touchdowns down here. So fun video to break down. All sorts of cool ways to use these RPOs, especially in the tight red zone. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. 
get engaged with the content, please try to get back to you at some point. And uh, if you haven't already, give the channel a subscription and get over to the Patreon community. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.